especially want to thank Jeff and Marilyn for a wonderful evening. Thank you. Yay. When Myra and I moved here in 1968, uh, we met wonderful friends, some of whom we still have, and a lot of great family, but out of town. But the one thing we really never had in Cleveland was family. And now suddenly we have a, a whole new family that we're thrilled with. Uh, Marilyn and Jeff, new grandparents, new cousins, and uh, they've been wonderful. They've welcomed us in as part of their family. It's nice to have family in Cleveland now. Amy and Scooter, we wish you the best. For those who don't know, it's Scooter to... Yeah, the is from my side. Right. Scott, Scott's nickname since he's been little, little as Scooter. So welcome and we hope you enjoy. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, a couple so well matched, a couple so right. They both like a schedule planned minute by minute. Just look at Scott's spreadsheet with each detail in it. This is for real, by the way. Oh, this is only a part of it. And Amy's to-do list. You're all on here. And your replies. You're, ru you're ruining my meter. Yeah. And Amy's to-do list is long as your arm. They're anal, they're uptight, but not without charm. They'd tell the grain of amber exactly when to wave. They might, they'd even call Mount Rushmore if they thought a Abe needs a shave. <laughs> but now the planning's over. Folks have come from far, from wide, and from sea to shining sea, just to see Scott and his bride. So just relax now, Amy. There's nothing left undone. Your only job now, Scooter, is kick back and just have fun. So as our country parties on its Independence Day, we'll celebrate your marriage as we dance the night away. A more perfect union there could not be. When we say, when we hear you say I do. So cheers, l'chaim, mazel tov. All, hear, all hail the red, white, and you. Uh, what a joy, uh, not only this, these last few years have been, but to welcome all of you and say that um, we feel so privileged to have acquired a whole new set of aunts, uncles, cousins, and almost cousins and almost aunts. And uh, thank you, Liptons, for including us in, in your family. Oh, and Mark is, well, he's been practicing with all the little nieces and nephews and great nieces. But um, someday the, the family will expand if um, Mark gives them time. So uh, any, anyway, we welcome all of you and hope that you will um, enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh, and uh, it wasn't until I went off to college that I started to realize you know, who she was to me. And going to college was tough. It was the first time I had been away from home, and she, uh, you know, was still younger, so she she had uh, stayed at home. And it was I was really homesick, and it was hard to talk to mom and dad. And after a while, I got over it and I could talk to them, but for a long, long time, I couldn't talk to her. Because talking to her made me really, really homesick, and I missed her a lot. So I think at that point, I realized, like, hmm, you're crying again? All right, it's working. This is only the third card. <laughs> it's too early to be crying. Um, so I started realizing that, you know, maybe this person was pretty special, and uh, soon after that, we became friends. She went off to college in Boston, and I was living, living there at the time, and that kind of... You know, we became friends and could see each other every week. Um, then a few years later, she met Scott. <coughs> Paying attention. <laughs> she met Scott, and then she actually told me about him when she came out uh, to San Francisco for a trip, and we were walking down the street going to lunch one day, and she's like, do you remember this guy, Scott Bilski? You went to camp with him? No, I was like, remember he's a little, little bit shorter than you? And I'm like, no, I don't, I can't remember that guy. And she's like, Big big sports fan. No. And then I then I paused and I said, "Is that the kid with the big glasses?" <laughs> and she said, "That's the guy." <laughs> I said, "Yeah, I remember that guy." And she said, "What do you remember?" I said, "He had big glasses." <laughs> she said, yeah, yeah, that's the guy. So since then, uh, Scott and I, you know, we have become good friends, and we email 
multiple times a day. He's basically like my primary news source for information about the Liptids. If I need to know what's going on, you know, with all due respect, you go to Scott and you get the details. So, and, uh, you know, I've never had a younger brother. So, as I said in uh, uh, Carter wrote to them when they got engaged, that I decided to have a younger brother and make him do my chores and pick up my toys and things like that that you, know, you make younger brothers do. And uh, so that's really exciting for me. Now, for Scott, I have a few little tips. Now, you probably already know these, but just in case you don't, here's a few little tips. I'm going to give you some answers to questions that are going to be helpful. The first one is round refrigerators. <laughs> the second one, black band-aids. And the third one is with this napkin, <laughs> like this, all right? Maybe you've already heard it, and she obviously knows it, but that's the secret. So, finally, I want to wish you the best, a lot of love, and you know, you're going to happy life together, and I know so do mom and uh, dad. <laughs> And mom and dad, I want to say, don't think of this as losing a daughter. Think of this wedding as gaining a sports almanac. <laughs> so, Amy and Scott, tell them with the best, we love you both. So now we, now we raise higher glasses to this lovable pair in expectation of an equally memorable wedding day affair. Since it's an open bar tonight and the Bilskis are buying, <laughs> there's just one more thing I need to add. L'chaim! You ask the guy a favor, he does it, you know, he comes running. Amy's getting a reliable and caring and supportive person who'll be a good husband. And it's obvious that you guys make each other very happy. Amy, consider yourself warned. You know what you're getting yourself into, and now you're on your own. <laughs> yes, we Bilskis have our quirks, but Scooter puts the rest of us to shame. <laughs> I wish you guys health, happiness, and good luck as you prepare to get married. Melissa and I are privileged and honored to be a part of the wedding, and we love you both. L'chaim. So yes, after 13 years, Amy and I have seen each other through good times, sad times, friendships, lots of relationships, and moves across the country. And in all of my years as her best friend, I have never seen Amy so happy, so satisfied, so at peace, and so in love. I wish you a long and happy life together and two remote controls. <laughs> and bikes. Marilyn keeps everything, but will soon be passing it all on to you. <laughs> Number one, and most important, know that you are marrying into a family who will always be there for you unconditionally, will be will always willing to help you out, and will embrace you from the moment you become a Bilski. Congratulations. Hey, and Scott, Cliff and I have enjoyed being a part of your lives and celebrating all of our simples together. We wish you every happiness and look forward to many more celebrations. Mazel tov. I think I've gone on long enough, but everyone please join me in wishing Scooter and Amy all the best as they embark on their lives together. They deserve it, and Allison, Aiden, and I hope to be there every step of the way as they begin their journey. Good luck. We just want to um, thank everyone for coming. It's um, so wonderful to have our family and friends come from all over the country, mostly New York. Um, and it's just, it's been, you know, I was like nervous all week and then everyone got here and it was just so much, it's been so much fun that I like decided I shouldn't be nervous, we should just have fun. So this has been great and um, it's just means so much for us to have you all here and we're so excited about tomorrow and this will all be one big family tomorrow evening. So we'll see you on the dance floor. Like Amy said, it means so much to both of us to have all of you here. Um, it seems like it was just yesterday we started planning this weekend, and it's here. And before we know it, it's going to be gone. But we can't wait to share the rest of the weekend with all of you. 
um, as to the allegations that were made against me today. Um, I, I used to love all these guys. I love them probably a little bit less, but uh, you've all heard about Fahrenheit 9-11 being one-sided. That's how tonight was. And, uh, <laughs> M many of the things were exaggerated or fabricated, but whatever the case, um, yes, yes, they were. For our single friends who spoke tonight, there are only a couple of you left. Uh, when it's your turn, we'll enjoy getting our shots back. But uh, thank you very much to my parents for tonight. Oh, yeah. And uh, Hopefully no one will have to eat till tomorrow night after the way everyone picked out tonight. And thank you in advance to Mark and Myra for the rest of the weekend. And we love all of you guys. We're so happy that all of you made it into Cleveland to, to share this weekend with us. Thank you. Seeing my bride for the first time. 
and uh, the last five or six days have been pretty interesting. Monday and Tuesday were kind of rough, and I didn't know how I was going to make it through the week, but uh, the cloud lifted, and now it's raining outside right now. I'm uh, pretty calm, cool, and collected, and can't wait to see Amy, and I think that the reality will, will sink in, all the planning and everything will be here. And everyone's told me how beautiful she looks in her dress, all the moms have seen her and all her friends. And uh, in a couple short minutes, I'll be able to see her for myself, and I can't wait.
and then if you uh, gently uh, crease it, then it hands off the shoulder. We pray, we turn to one our God, source of all creation, may Scott and Amy's ability to love and understand each other, to be amazed by and respect each other, be recreated for them every day. Together we say, Amen. Our sages taught that when Moses shared his leadership with others, he would place his hands on their heads, but his own leadership was not diminished, just as one candle might be used to light another candle without losing any of its own brilliance. And so, Amy, if you would now place the uh, kippah on the scooter. <laughs> And now, maybe if you put your hands gently on Scott's shoulders. We pray we turn on our God, source of all creation. May Amy and Scott's ability to share and support each other, to help each other grow in light and honor, be recreated for them every day. And together we all say, Amen. And if the two of you would hold hands, we ask for God's blessing on you. Yismichem Elohim, Abraham v'sarah, asher banu et beit Yisrael. May God make you like Abraham and Sarah, who together with dedication and in profound partnership built up a household filled with love. And together we say, um, now your parents have uh, some remarkable life experience, not all of which they'll share at this moment, but they, they certainly have a lot of experience when it comes to uh, great marriages. And I just would invite them now to offer some last minute words of encouragement, love and advice.
Amy and Scott, just before you entered the chuppah, you circled one another and then together completed a circle, the circle representing wholeness and completeness, echoing your commitment to a life together of wholeness and completeness. You now give and receive these rings that represent with their shape the perfection of something whole and complete like a circle, just as you circled each other before entering the chuppah. And as you share these rings with one another, you see that you are embraced by a warm circle of family and friends. May your marriage always be embraced by a sustaining circle of love and pride and joy as you are embraced by everyone here tonight. And then Scott, if you would please place the ring on Amy's hand and recite the formula of our tradition after me. Hare at. Hare at. Mikudeshet li. Mikudeshet li. B'tabad zo. B'tabad zo. Kadat Moshe. Kadat Moshe. Miriam. Miriam. V'Yisrael. V'Yisrael. With this ring. With this ring. Be consecrated to me in love. Be consecrated to me in love. And join your life to mine. And join your life to mine. As my wife. As my wife. According to the traditions of Moses. According to the traditions of Moses. Miriam. Miriam. And Israel. And Israel. Next time we get married, he's wearing a veil. Uh, Amy's thoroughly enjoying the veil experience <laughs> and commented that the next time they do this, Scott will wear the veil. Oh my. Sorry. No, that's okay. Shouldn't we take it off so you can see better? And then we do that later? No, we're going to. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. That's much better. Thank you. Oh, got cooler like by 10 degrees in here. <laughs> Okay, now I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> I'm okay. Hareya ta. <laughs> oh, do I do this? Hareya ta. Mikudesh li. Mikudesh li. Bittabadzo. Bittabadzo. Kadat Moshe. Kadat Moshe. Miriam. Miriam. For Yisrael. For Yisrael. With this ring. With this ring. Be consecrated to me in love. Be consecrated to me in love. And join your life to mine. And join your life to mine. As my husband. As my husband. According to the traditions. According to the traditions. Of Moses. Of Moses. Miriam. Miriam. And Israel. And Israel. He said he does it slowly for people who are flipping out. Can you face me there? Okay. 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 As I thought about the two of you, your backgrounds and histories, the many and varied connections and coincidences that you share and unknowingly have shared throughout your lives, the seeming inevitability of your meeting, if you hadn't found each other, with a little help from our Boston <laughs> sports rivals, it was just a matter of time before one of your mutual friends realized. May the light of God's face always shine on the path of your life. May the light of God's face always sparkle in your eyes, especially when you're looking at each other. Fill your life together with a wellspring of divine blessing, especially God's most precious blessing, that of peace.
Mazel
like to welcome everyone. 28 years ago, I had a beautiful baby girl, and I thought how much fun it would be someday to plan her wedding. Little did I know I would just be a spectator. Uh, the beautiful evening we're about to encounter was all Amy and Scott's plans. Could never have done it without them. Uh, and her office, yeah. Everything from their office was wonderful. I'd like to reiterate a thank you to Jeff and Marilyn Bilski for the most fun rehearsal dinner last night. I have to thank my family for coming from all over. It means so much to me. I have four cousins, that's all. They're all here. I have the most wonderful sister who has just always been my best friend and her gar gorgeous children and her husband and her, his brother who's like my best friend forever who came all the way from California. Uh, there's so many of you here that I want to thank personally and hopefully I'll get to you all. But I want to invite you all to have a wonderful, relaxed, fun evening. And of course I can't not wish my beautiful daughter and my handsome son-in-law love and luck and happiness and peace and joy forever. Myra and I are blessed with wonderful family, and for those who were at the oh, and David. Rehe oh <laughs> rehearsal dinner, uh, I mentioned and uh, I repeat tonight, it's wonderful to have all this wonderful new family. Um, my son, who's right in the front, David, uh, said it right, he hit it right on the head when he said during the ceremony, Amy's being Amy, and that's Amy. I'd like to introduce the grandfathers who are in the, in the corner, Carl Rosenberg and Marvin Bilski, who will say the Baruchah. I have to read this because of my young Rabbi Reuben and the Savior will not let me in for the high holiday service. <laughs> Anyhow, Baruchah.
feeding me that lovely wedding cake. It was very good. I recommend it to everybody here. I don't have a whole lot to say. I think I said everything I had to say last night. Uh, this is an honor and pleasure to be here. Family and friends. Beautiful, beautiful ceremony. And uh, obviously my, my brother has done quite well for himself. Haven't seen him quite this happy ever for as long as I've known him. So I'll, I'll keep it brief. I think I said enough last night, but it was an honor for both Melissa and myself to be in your wedding. And uh, please, everybody, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you, Mark and Myra, and Mom and Dad for everything, all your efforts. And of course, Scott and Amy, or Scooter and Amy. And uh, please, everybody, raise your glasses and uh, a big hearty l'chaim. Mazel tov and uh, enjoy. This is the lowest that it goes, so we're working on that. But anyway, like Jeremy said, I really said um, the majority of my roast last night, saving the toast for tonight, and really just wanted to say how much I've enjoyed watching um, and listening to Amy and Scott get to know each other over the last two years and how their relationship has really evolved into this loving best friendship and partnership that we all obviously see here today. And after being best friends with Amy for 13 years, I know I've never seen her so happy and so secure and so at ease since she's met Scott. From the start, Amy and Scott gave each other a sense of peace in Scott's attentiveness to Amy and his genuine affection for her. Now I think we can all see how well they truly complement each other. I'm proud to be able to share my best friend with such a loving, caring, and devoted person like Scott, and will hopefully find myself a new best friend in Scott. Mazel tov and all of the best. I didn't know I was speaking tonight, so uh, I had to steal a glass of wine on the way up here to look like I was prepared, so I owe my girlfriend a uh, glass of wine. But um, I used all my good jokes last night, and I'm, I'm all out. You know, I spent a year working on those, so that's all I got. So maybe if there's a tape of last night, we could play that or something, you know. Tell some jokes again. Or, didn't you tell me to just repeat whatever Jeremy said? Something like that. So Scott, you've been a great brother. Thank you. And uh, Amy, glad to meet you. <laughs> but um, I think that today, the both of you, throughout the whole day, were yourselves. And I think that was the best part. You know, my father had said it, and I just reiterate, through the whole ceremony, you two never stopped being Amy and Scott. And I think that was the most beautiful part, that you guys were yourselves, and you, you didn't feel any unnecessary pressure to act in any way other than yourselves. <laughs> Certainly you, Amy. So, <laughs> got your own uh, stand-up show there. So, I want to say congratulations to you both. Mazel tov and l'chaim. Amy and Scott, Mom and I wish you many years of health and happiness. Mark and Myra, we'd like to thank you for your hospitality this evening and helping to make us all one big family in this last year. And we look forward to celebrating many holidays with you in the future, such as we've done in the last year since the kids became engaged. For those of you who are just getting to know Scott, we thought we might assist you by sharing some of his finer, more interesting points with you. First of all, Scott is entrepreneurial. When he finds a need, he tries to solve it. As a young Hebrew school student, he realized that there were famished children at 4 p.m. when Hebrew school started. What did Scott do? He took it upon himself to sell them throughout the school year the Halloween candy that he had collected so that these young scholars would not starve. Scott is also intuitive. 
When we sent him off to Miami University, we had no idea he would become a record-setting carpet salesman for his business fraternity, Delta Sigma Pi. Scott sold dorm room carpeting to individuals in colors they had no idea they even wanted it. And when they would call, he would convince them that these were the most popular colors. Scott is practical. As a young child, with an always messy room, and messy is an understatement, he solved the dilemma quite easily. When we asked him to rediscover the floor of his room because we forgot what color the carpet was, he bagged everything in large trash bags and somehow got his treasures delivered to his grandparents, the Bilski's basement. I think he probably even convinced them that he was doing them a favor. <laughs> Scott is very giving. As a 10-year-old, he started accompanying me to Menorah Park, where I volunteer. This brought out a very tender side in Scott as he related so well to the seniors at our Orthodox Jewish nursing home. Amy, you may not know it, but he actually became engaged to a lovely 83-year-old grandmother, Tilly of blessed memory, but fortunately, the wedding never occurred. Scott is generous with his time and efforts spent working for many philanthropic causes for the benefit of others in both our community and around the world. Scott is multi-talented. At one thought, at one time we thought he'd even become a museum curator. His room was filled with archival materials, including car brochures from probably every auto show he ever attended, 120,000 baseball cards and assorted memorabilia, books, school papers dating back to preschool. I'm sure his kindergarten workbooks are surely a collector's item. Scott is a loving, sensitive individual who cares so deeply about family and friends. It's truly a joy to be his parents, and we are most delighted to welcome Amy and her dear family to our midst. This past year has been especially filled with extraordinary blessings. Until last June, when Melissa became the newest Mrs. Bilski, I was the only female in the immediate family. Amy, I'm really glad that you've joined our ranks. We are so fortunate to be able to celebrate today with grandparents. Those who are no longer with us are sure, surely sharing the nachas we are all feeling. It's a particular joy that we share this day with our dear Rabbi Howard Rubin, who's become such a special friend to Scott and Amy. This day would not have been the same without him. And of course, our beloved cantor, Sarah Sager, has added immensely to the ceremony. Sarah, you've been there, as you mentioned in the ceremony, for practically every life cycle event in Scott's life. And I recall most vividly a note you wrote upon his bar mitzvah, telling me that someday you look forward to the day when you would stand under the chuppah when he would marry. Well, I'm dumbfounded. How could we have gotten here so fast? So, in this time of blessing, we are privileged to share this with so many dear family members and friends who are our extended family. I'd like to offer a very heartfelt Shehachianu. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehachianu V'kiyamanu V'higianu Lahazman Blessed is the Lord our God, ruler of the universe, for giving us life, for sustaining us, and for enabling us to reach this most special occasion. Amy and Scott, we love you dearly. L'chaim. First off, uh, I want to thank Mark and Myra for tonight. This is perfect. I couldn't imagine anything better. Um, thanks again to my parents for last night. Um, we're happy that everyone finished the candy. Amy was worried. Sorry we ran out. But um, I really want to thank Amy. Um, I cannot imagine being happier than I am right now. 
the last year, it's been one year today that we've been engaged, and I can't believe the time has flown by so fast. Um, it's unbelievable to think that this is just the beginning, you know, with the way that we feel about each other and all that we have ahead of us. I feel privileged that I've married my best friend, and I can't wait for a wonderful lifetime together, filled with happiness, starting a nice, wonderful Jewish home together and a family down the road. And there was one aspect of this evening that I had no idea about. I was a little more involved than I probably needed to be with a lot of the other aspects of the planning. And that was what Amy would look like. And I can't imagine her looking any more beautiful than she does tonight. Mrs. Bilski. Um, I'd like to echo Scott's sentiments. I think I look really nice. Um, um, it's, um, um, I, I really want to thank everyone for being here. It was so, you could, I mean, you all knew that I just kept turning around during the, during the ceremony. It was so nice to see. Um, you know, the faces of all the people that we love so much. Uh, and it just wouldn't be the same without you here. Um, I'd like to just take a minute to thank uh, Scott's parents for everything they did last night, everything they've done this whole year we've been engaged. Marilyn was very patient with me during my theme ideas for the rehearsal dinner and welcome bags and everything. And you were very patient, and I appreciate that. Um, I want to. I want to I want to thank you know all my friends who've uh, listened and given me advice and looked at pictures and wedding binders and that especially goes for my office who are so patient um, and I promise I'll start working like for real when I get back. Um, I want to thank my brother and it obviously wouldn't be the same without you and um, I love you very much. And Scott can tell you, I've always kind of, you know, I've always looked up to you and just, you know, my brother is so cool. And I tell everybody who I work with about you and um, so I love you. And I'd like to thank my parents. Um, you've just been the best parents anyone could ask for and this has been just a perfect evening. And, um, hmm? Scott has one more thing to say, but as soon as he's done, I would like to ask my father to dance. Because he as, has to. And as soon as they're done, we'd like all of you to come out here and dance with us, please, and have a great time the rest of tonight. And thank you all for coming. Here we go. Have a good
together again.
fun. Yeah, this was a good time. Did everything work out the way you wanted? Yeah. Yeah? I was a little event planner though, all night. Yeah. You're going home fun. with you're going home with me? Oh my. Oh my. Yes. I think everything was terrific. Everyone had a good time. Now I just want to see pictures. Yes, and videos. So, did it seem just, like a blur to you? A little bit. It'll be fun to dissect this over the next few months or years or forever. We need to go to like Hawaii. That's a good idea. What are you doing on Tuesday? I'm going you wanna we'll go. You wanna go? Okay, let's go. I love you. I love you too. Mrs. Bilski. <laughs> All right. Good? Okay.